from the mind of my daughter, Erin. This story is called The Bird Toilet. Once upon a time, in a land close to home, there was a telegraph pole that had become the most popular spot for birds to do their business. They called it the bird toilet, and birds of all shapes, sizes and colours came from far and wide to drop their poops from the pole. Big birds, little birds, birds with colours, birds that are brown, birds from the sea and birds from the ground. The bird toilet was a spectacle to behold, with birds perched on every inch of the pole. Some birds would fly in for a quick visit, while others would spend hours chattering away with their feathered friends. It was a bustling place, and everyone wanted to be part of the action. The pole itself was covered in white streaks and spots, a testament to its popularity among the feathered friends. But what made the bird toilet famous was its location. The pole was right in the middle of a path. The same path that a little boy took to get to school. Every day, he had to run past the bird toilet to avoid getting hit by any stray poop. And the birds, they knew this. They would watch the little boy with glee, trying to time their poops just right so they could hit him as he ran past. It was a game to them, and they loved it. The little boy, on the other hand, was not so thrilled. One day, the little boy decided he had had enough. He went to his friends, and together they came up with a plan to outsmart the birds. The next day, as the little boy ran past the bird toilet, the birds couldn't believe their eyes. They had never seen such a thing before. The little boy and his friends were protected by their umbrellas, and the birds couldn't hit them with their poops. The birds were disappointed, but the little boy and his friends were thrilled. They had outsmarted the birds and could now run to school without fear of getting pooped on. The bird toilet remained popular among the birds, but it was no longer a threat to the little boy and his friends. They had won the battle against the bird poop, and the little boy was no longer scared of the bird toilet.